to solve equations with variables on both sides, the only new thing we're going to do is I want you to gather the variables on one side of the equation. Is the only new thing we're going to do today. And what I mean by gather is we're going to use our algebra rules, adding and subtracting the same thing to both sides, to rewrite the equation so we have variables only on one side. And the side I'd like you to get used to gathering them on is not necessarily just the left, not necessarily just the right. What I'd really like you to get used to seeing is let's gather them on the side where the larger of the two variables starts, where the greater of the two variables starts. So in our first equation, which one is greater, 5x or 2x? 5x. So I want you to gather the variables on the 5x side. So that means I want variables on the left. I don't want them on the right. So how do we get rid of the variables on the right side of this equation? Maddie? OK, are there any like terms on, on either oh, side? Wait, could you subtract yeah, since there's no like terms, since there's no like terms on either side, what we can do instead is how about we subtract the two x's to get rid of them on the right? So what we're left with is this new equation. 13 plus 3 x's equals negative 8. Now you're in a two-step equation that you did a lot of solving yesterday. Okay. So let's get the x's by itself. 3x equals negative 21. Divide both sides by 3. x is negative 7. Okay. What we're doing is no different. It's just we're, we're going to add, we're going to give you a strategy for dealing with a situations we didn't see yesterday. Gather the variables on one side, and now it becomes like an old problem. Okay? Where's the greater of the two variables in this equation? Are they on the right side or the left side? Left. Right. 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 What's greater, negative 3 or negative 2? Negative 2. How are you going to decide? Number line. What one's farther to the right? Negative two. Negative two. So negative two is the greater of the numbers. So let's gather the variables on the right side. So that means we need to get rid of the variables on the left. How are you going to do that? Add three. So let's add three k's to both sides. And you get nine is equal to 17. Nine, because we added three k's. So negative 3k plus 3k is nothing. So 9 is the only thing left. 17. And what's negative 2k's plus 3k's? 1k's. And is everyone okay with me not writing that 1 there? Because 1 times anything is just k? If you want to write 1k, that's fine. But know that 1k is the same as just k. Oh, I didn't even get that. <laughs> K is on here. Let's get K by itself. So how about we subtract 17 from both sides and get negative 8 equals K. What should the first thing you want to do before we... Distribute. Don't put it back before you. Distribute and get, say, 5Z minus 2 equals 6Z minus 8. Hey, look, now you have an equation with variables on either side. Same strategy. How about we gather them on the 6z side? Negative 2 equals 1z minus 8. Add 8 to both sides. And get z equal to 6. And just multiply the denominator. So I'll just multiply the right side by 3, and I'll multiply the entire left side by 3 as well, so I stay balanced. 
What's that going to do for us? Well, does anyone know what 2 thirds times 3 is? Three, three times two thirds. That's like three over one times two thirds. So that's like six over three. What's six over three? It's the same as whatever was in the numerator. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So by multiplying both sides, notice I multiplied both sides, not just one number on the side. I multiplied the entire side by the denominator. And what that's going to allow us to do is to create this new equation. 3 times 8y minus 6 equals 2, because that's still in the numerator, times 6y plus 15. To finish this problem, I'll distribute the 3, distribute the 2, and get 24y minus 18 equals 12y plus 30. I'll gather the y's on the side with the larger one. In this case, it's the left side. So subtract 12y. 24y minus 12y is 12y's minus 18 equals 30. Y's equal, what's 30 plus 18 is 48. Y by 12. Y is, I believe, what, 4? Yeah. 48 divided by 12 is 4, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Let's try this strategy right here. Let's try this, let's try our strategy here on this next problem. So what do I want to, do I have a fraction multiplied to the entire side? No, just the denominator. I have, well, no, what I meant by, is my setup written such that I have a fraction times everything on one side of an equation? Yes. 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 Yeah, I have a one-fifth times everything else that's on this side of the equation. Okay? So with this setup, now I can do this trick. I can multiply both sides by the denominator. What's the denominator? Five. Five. So I'll multiply the entire left side by five. And I'll multiply the entire right side by five. That gives me, what, 5 times 4x minus 5. And that's equal to, what we say? Those cancel, and that's left with 1 times 5x plus 20. For example, with variables on both sides, something like this first example could happen. Let's distribute the 5 and get 5x minus 6 equals 5x minus 5, or plus negative 5. Is that agreeable so far? Yeah. Okay. What would be the next thing we want to do? Jack, what would you do? Well, yeah, we'd like to gather the x's on one side. So we'll subtract 5x from the right, which means we have to subtract 5x from the left, which leaves you with what? 0 minus 6 equals 0 minus 5, or negative 6 equals negative 5. Does negative 6 equal negative 5? Uh, no. Not really. Okay. Since, folks, since your equation lost all the variables, and it does not make sense. 6 is not equal to negative 5. Negative 6 is not equal to negative 5, so there are no solutions. Okay. This is contrasted with the second example. The second example, if we distribute, you get the following. 12x plus 8 equals 12x plus 8. Whoa. And if you subtract it, say 12x like we've always done, minus, you get 8 equals 8. Just, did you distribute the 2? Does 8 equal 8? Yeah, it does. Are there any variables left? 
No. no, so we're not going to have one solution, but this is true. So this is called, you call this one of two things. Your book will call this an identity. What this is really saying is that what solutions are possible? All real numbers are the solutions. Let's look at our final example. Uh, let's gather the W's on one side, subtract 7 W's, and get 1 equals 1 W plus 1. 1 equals 1 W plus 1. Let's get W by itself, so subtract 1 and get, say, 0 equals, well, even to humor you guys, let's put a 1 in front of there, 1 W. So 0 equals, well, we have W's are still there, so you get an answer. Now we just going to know what the answer is. So if you could say, well, 1 times anything is just W. If you wanted to, you could also say, I don't know, if you want to get fancy, you could say divide both sides by 1. And that'll give you W. And 0 divided by 1, 0 divided by anything is 0. That is distinctly different from anything divided by 0. If the 0 is in the denominator, this is not 1. It's called undefined. It's not possible. Okay. If you divide by zero, if the zero is below, that's, that's a problem. If zero is above, that's fine. It's just zero. 